every nation has a religion that influences the culture. Like in India, the principles of Sanatan Dharma decide the course of popular Indian culture. What will happen if someone insults the particular religion or dharma? Well, he or she will draw the ire of public and may face the wrath of law. But that's not what we do in India. And the prime example of it is unfunny Hindu phobic so-called comedian Munawar Faruqi. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Apoorva and if you're watching us on Facebook, give our page a like. And if you're watching us on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the story today, in this video, let's unveil the actual culprit behind the Telangana cures. So, let's begin. Blasphemy, although not recognized by the law of the land, has become a real thing in the nation. And the entire Telangana kiosk is weaved around that, especially in Hyderabad. Both the new and old areas of the city are engulfed in endless protest and communal tension. Raja Singh has been arrested for his remarks related to Prophet Muhammad. The BJP has suspended him from the party and the police has arrested the Ghosh Mahal MLA by invoking the Preventive Detention Act. Raja Singh's remarks and his arrest has caused unrest in the state. Congress has also drawn flag for threatening to burn down Raja Singh's constituency to ashes if Singh was not arrested. But the one responsible for the entire chaos is sitting back relaxing, KTR and Munawar Faruqi. The two people responsible for throwing Telangana under the bus and creating unrest in the state are KTR and Munawar Faruqi. Telangana IT minister and son of CM KCR, KT Rama Rao, had extended an invitation to Munawar Faruqi for performing in the state. In the invitation being sent to Faruqi as well as Kunal Kamra, KTR had vowed that their shows won't be cancelled like before. The offer was accepted by Faruqi and the stage was set for August 21st. The invitation to Faruqi for show drew objection from several right-wing Hindu groups. Seeing his previous insulting remarks about Mata Sita and Bhagwan Ram, there were bound to be reservations regarding Faruqi's show. He has been banned in many states of India, citing his Hindu-phobic statements. KTR invited Faruqi despite knowing that Hindus will have objection to him performing in their state. The BJP had also objected to the organization of Faruqi's show in the state and has warned of dire consequences if the state government will allow Faruqi to perform, as they believed that the show was meant for creating hatred against Hindu religion and gods. This is how the entire incident unfolded. What would have been the best way out, distancing oneself from the one who insults Hindu Devi and Devtas? That would have been the best way that have helped peace prevail in the state. But for both KTR and Faruqi, it garnered attention and media publicity at the cost of a state and its people. Surprisingly, we are not the only ones blaming it on Faruqi. Rather, Hyderabadis have criticized Faruqi, asking him to never come to Hyderabad again. See on the screen some comments that were posted on Faruqi's timeline asking him to never come to Hyderabad again. The entire matter may look simple to you, but it is not. It is not merely just KTR inviting Faruqi, Hindu sentiments getting hurt and there is chaos in the city. Rather, the issue runs deep and there is a lot of politics behind the whole incident. Assembly elections are due in Telangana for 2023 and all political parties are gearing up. The state since its formation has been ruled by TRS. Now, other parties are making for a, especially the BJP. Amit Shah has already initiated uprooting the KCR empire with Praja Sangram Yatra. To add on, TRS is under pressure due to ED's investigation into Delhi's liquor policy, as the involvement of TRS MLC Kavita has been found. The entire incident may have been planned to bring down the BJP, alleged the Telangana BJP president, Sanjay Kumar. Well, if is it so, the political parties really need to lift their game and play clean.